game hosted by the Rivers Property in Pittsburgh, PA. Lines are 25 and 50 with an optional $100 straddle. Poker Night in America brought to you by 888 Poker, where the world plays online. I wanted to do commentary. It was funny, I was like, uh, I was with my brother for the, the final table this year. You know, they weren't showing any of the cards. Mm -hmm. Like, literally, like every hand, like, it's like I was like, falling apart. I'm like this. But I don't know, I just feel like I have a lot of in insight that I'd like to be able to. You feel like I got a lot of good things to say. That's good. For a commentary, you need to be a little arrogant. What's he doing? <laughs> I made I made it, three, I made well, I mean, he keeps putting them chips out there. Are you adding? I'm to supposed that? to do something. Uh, we'll oh, okay. I got to do something with the uh, WSOP Academy, though, so that'd be exciting. Oh, yeah, nice. Are you going to be teaching <laughs> at the Academy, you said? Yeah. Well, I know they won't let me get away with it, so I can. What do you possibly know about access. poker? Yeah, like if I say lot. fold, I can do this <laughs> and stuff, and it's okay, because. Oh, as long as the dealer doesn't like grab it before I pull it back. Oh, that, was, that was on the line. That was border, yeah. Greg. I, don't do I said risky. fold before I put the chips there. There's some rules in Pennsylvania. The they have rules in the state, buddy. <laughs> Flop is 10, king, 7. That's the one really fun thing about those e tables. Open end to draw for like Joe. Like on you and you look at Dan your stays and say, in the lead but makes a and pair of kings with that flop. <laughs> but you can try to get a read on them or something. You're like, I'm all in. That sounds like a Will Fahila angle. And what, it, because you don't throw anything in, it's <laughs> well, not at all you know, in? You know those electronic tables? Oh, yeah, electronic tables. No, those e -tables? I don't know them. No, I, I, I specifically asked, like, the, the, you know, the floor man. I'm like, so, like, verbal is binding. That concept is irrelevant on an e-table, right? Like, it doesn't matter what you say. It's only what button you push. And he's like, yeah, it doesn't matter what you say. That's not binding or anything. So I was just having fun. Like, I would just say to someone, I'm all in. And then I'd call their bet or whatever I was going to do or fold or whatever it is I was always going to do. Well, you're mean. But I'm just having fun with them. You're mean. You're picking on these little people playing that electronic well, we broker. Were just, we were just playing for fun. We were just having oh, fun. Oh, it was just for fun. No money involved. Fun. No, it was a real game, but it was like, you know, just a little like. Just fun money. It was like oh, a, fun it was money. It was, like, it was like a $40 sit and go. Not funny. Ha ha. If you, won, if you won the sit and go, you were going to get like $160 of profit. So it was like. Calls. But even if you're playing high stakes on an e-table, it'd be like and out of the river. Like verbal it's an ace, yeah. and so Joe Cata has vaulted into the lead, making Broadway on the river. Angle. Just a pair of kings for Dan. You got three hearts you're dealing with. You got the ace oh, on the river. Like Homer Simpson, like, yeah, like on that. Bart, choking him. I hit him that all <laughs> equals fold. It's exactly what Dan will do. $5,500 going the way of Joe Cata. So <laughs> you're getting too many chips. Hey, uh, Ryan, take you're not you're not supposed to tell him that this is all a setup to steal his own like, shirt. Like this was like a, actually a Christmas gift from my sister-in-law. Yeah. Like you just go to Lands End and you can like for like 40 or 60 bucks or something, they'll get a logo made up for you. Yeah. They'll do the little bit of work and then you can just then order a tire anytime after that and have the logo added for a couple dollars. Aces for so Dan O'Brien this time. Sounds like a pretty good That's deal. That's 300. So, you know, the upfront fee Action now on like Jack Schonbacher. Do you play his first hand yeah, of the night? Nope. You fold. They're going to be like, man, that guy's a genius. What they're really going to say is I'm a genius because I nailed it in my head and folded. Yeah, but you didn't say that loud, so he's no, the why genius. Would I? Why would I tell you what hey. you have? I want it to be a secret. could have raised the turn and he would have just mocked. I know. I really thought about it. I know. But I was like, like, but honestly, like I, was I was talking about that exact same situation uh, yesterday where it's like you bet the river and you're like, please call, please call. It's like, don't raise though. Don't, don't raise. raise. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought when you bet 2K. I was like, he doesn't want to raise. Yeah. Call. But sometimes I'll do that with like the nuts yeah, you because you, yeah, you have to balance that. Sometimes you're thinking in your head, don't, don't raise, don't raise, just call. <laughs> My hand's too good, I think. Wow, what a flop. Flop is deuce, eight, seven. Daneman's got top pair. Eldridge flops a set of deuces, and Dan O'Brien's loving that flop. Leave yourself with one though when you bet that river, but you can't really check either. Because right. any two pair type yeah, sets hands just it. yeah. He's gonna bet only better hands. Fifteen yeah. hundred. Unless he like floated with like yeah, unless he floated with something <laughs> like the jack nine or the eight nine or something. Well, this is a spot where Dave at least is going to call, if not raise, and then actually coming back to Dan O'Brien thinking, well, now I've got aces and they're probably junk. 
There's the re-raise to 3,500. A very strong message to Dan O'Brien. Yeah. I've got a big hand. How come you guys didn't come out to the hockey rink? And there go the aces. Now back to Danman. We're on court because of basketball. Well, half. Steve's going to get that same message from Big Rays and Dave. Yep, and just like that, pocket deuces in the straddle will turn into a $6,500 pot. I'm going to look forward to seeing that hand on TV. Going to Dave Eldridge. You couldn't just fold. That one? <sighs> that one or the aces? You're making it tough on me. <laughs> so brutal. I was just sitting there thinking, like, I wouldn't have guessed that that was the flop that was going to hit all three of them. Didn't hit. Well, I think it only hit one guy, really. <laughs> <laughs> Poker Night in America I'm, I'm brought to you by 888 Poker, where the world plays online. There's a reasonable chance of that. I didn't need the flop to hit me. I just didn't need it to hit them like that. Or maybe, who knows? Fucking Dave. I don't think the ball from that spot in my little house. Queen Deuce. Who like folds that? Nine, ten, Exposed. It's a face card. Uh, how many face cards do you? How many face cards do you really get in your hand? Or obviously three of a kind. One, either or. Yeah, I mean that's that's yeah, your best case. That's definitely. And Jack for Joe. Up there. Three hundred. Raises on the button. I went through my Eight mind. Seven, be like, oh, this would be a good TV hand if it was set over, set over. Fives seven. for Danneman. Yeah. And this time it's Dave Eldridge with aces. Back, back to back hands. See it in a televised game. Yeah, that doesn't happen too often. Three reds. King and king king. Go oh, back to Joe. And it's like, wow, what a beautiful spot to, to get your chips in, right? And he stands up and he yells across the room at a friend of his. And he's like, no, Jim, you wouldn't believe it. It happened again, almost. And he's, and, they're like, and he's like, well, the reason they broke our table, he goes, we did a, a four-way all-in. I had aces, and I was against ace-king, ace-king, and king-king. Wow. <laughs> I was just like, so back-to-back -back hands at different tables. Joe raises, raises the 2,500. I was at the World Series in, a, in one of those. Now does Dave battles. decide to play it cool just and like, just call, or is he going to four-bet and maybe just move all-in? It's a lot easier to flop set over set over set, I think. <laughs> I mean, that was just, like, sick. I wonder if you won't even want to see it, though. <laughs> that would be the sad part. You could go through those two hands, and then you don't even win the seat. I probably tried to win the satellite. Well, I didn't last much longer, so I didn't get a feel for how he was playing. Unless you give it. You want to give me something? Yeah, sure. Oh, no, no. What? Quick fold from Joe. Okay. Three went all in. That's one thing you appreciate about Joe Kata. He does not Hollywood before he folds. This card? No. He'll flip either one. The right card. He'll flip one. The right card. Well, the right one. Okay. He said the right one. Not that one. The other right one. What was it? Ace of Diamonds. The other right one. <laughs> what was it? Ace of Diamonds. It's like when I've been talking with friends and they're playing open face like at the series this summer. A lot of straddle. It's like people would get their first five cards and then boom, put them down really quick. You know, like they knew exactly what they wanted we to do. Yeah. In that and then I would see them There's tanking right forever on the second to last yeah, card. And I'm like, right like, it's so dead obvious where it goes. You got, it's here or there. And it's mathematically, like, completely obvious where it has to go. Really? And I'm like, why are they tanking over it forever? But the guy set his first five cards, like, without even a, a second thought. Yeah, I mean, a lot of times that happens. Or I just know how I'm going to set my first five and... You know, towards the end, it gets a little tough with all the information out there. Well, I would say some of them would be very okay. tough, but in other cases, like a guy is the last, he's the fourth player, so he's seen every, he knows now these are those four cards left, I'm getting one of those. Right. I'm looking at this card, and I'm sitting there thinking to myself, like, wait, if you put it there, there's a 50-50 chance you're going to foul. If you put it here... You know, and, and if you put it there and risk fouling, only one of those four cards is going to actually improve your result. Right. But sometimes... You know? uh, so it's like you're a two-to-one favorite to foul rather than improve. And if you right. put it in the other place, I mean, I, just, <clears throat> I didn't see... But sometimes it takes you a little while to figure out which cards are left, because... Yeah. Obviously and the player who misses them. the flop bets 450. Maybe that's it. Maybe I'm reading the board quicker than they are. But. The player that hit the biggest part of that flop 
Paul's. I haven't played months. I'm glad I never got started. And now Larry, yeah, who hit middle like pair on that flop. Like, it's like being a crack addict playing open face. Yeah, it was consuming too much time playing on the app, so I just, uh, yeah. now I just play nice in person if it happens. Yeah. It's a pure math game, though, so if you know you have an edge, then you have an edge. It's not like... Right, but I just don't want to waste my days playing open face, and that's what I would do. Yeah, it's not... It's Even not if I'm fun. making money, I just would rather yeah. not be doing it. Larry calls. Well, the biggest issue, I would think, is going <clears> to <throat> end up being the fact that since so much of it is taking place on the app... Yeah. It's like, you know, you hear things now about someone who's, like, borrowing money or whatever, and they're not paying people back. Yeah, now it's going to be like, oh, this guy owes 50 different people, yeah. you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars at Chinese, and he's not paying. Yeah, yeah I, I still haven't settled with people on, like, you know, good friends of mine just yeah. because it's, it's annoying. It's a hassle. Yeah, but the people you're playing, you probably know that you'll get yeah, the money, yeah, yeah. so it's no big deal. Well, but everyone, everyone knows they're going to get money until they all of a sudden that guy doesn't pay them. Yeah. Uh, there's I mean, a line there. You kind of know. Yeah, you do kind of know. Some people know quite well. Yeah. There's been plenty of stories over the years of ever. No one would have thought this guy was scamming people, and it's like, oh yeah, he was gambling with money he didn't have. And then he finally ran out. And then he finally five. got backed into a corner, and it turned out he owed everybody. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're right. That does yeah. happen. And then people That's are like, there are some people like, oh, that. Oh wow, I never would have thought that he would be one of those. Some guys. people you gamble with because you know that they're their word is good, but there's like very few of them They like, that's like the main determinant. Most of the time you just gamble because you know this guy has a lot of money. That's the, that's the easiest way. And now the river, it is a queen. I love it when like some random person, I have no idea who they are, and they're not even known in the poker world at all, and they're like wanting me to like either stake them or put or lend them money. Mm -hmm. You know, like, oh, the gold. Like first, the first year they did that 50K horse, you know, the Players' Championship. This kid comes out in the hall and he's telling me like, what a great Larry stud first player act, and I should put him in the 50K betting. horse. <laughs> 21, he's like 25. Serious, 21, you know? 25. <laughs> it takes a lot of balls. I didn't play oh the 100k what? this year because Back I to didn't want to put up enough of my own money to do it. But I could have gotten people to back me in it, buy pieces, but you know, it's like... And a call. I don't like playing on other people's hundreds of thousands. And Larry's $100 straddle just cost him an $8,100 pot. There you guys. Good hands. We return to the felt blinds here at this cash game are $25 and $50, optional $100 straddle. Minimum buy-in for the game is $5,000. And Poker Night in America brought to you by 888 Poker, where the, the world plays consider. online. And then it occurred to him. Most people would not even consider such a possibility. Mm. Like, oh, wait, I can see his hand and not pay him off <laughs> by tipping the waitress. But then if he's right, he's missing out on 40 bucks. Yeah, but then he still beat his nemesis, so he's still happy. Darvin Moon, 2009 WSOP runner-up will call. This guy ordered like $30 worth of drinks. Now the winner of that year's main event, Joe Cata, folds. Call. The two of them meeting at a poker table for the first time since that November 9. Daneman calls on the button, and now to Dan O'Brien. Dan raises with kings. Cool. Oh. Just a little action. No fear here. These guys are runner ups in the main event. You can't scare them. Almost $3,000 in the pot pre flop, and the flop is five queen ace. Dan and Darwin both check. 22. Steve bets 2,200. Dan O'Brien already had a tough decision with aces earlier, and now sitting with kings with an ace on the flop. Steve, I'm thinking I've got, I'm thinking I'm ahead of you. The $100 dollars work for you? Got lots of outs. You I got think you're ahead too. You got a lot of outs, buddy. Show it. You wanted to show and it. Steve Daneman with absolutely what? nothing is going to win that big pot. That flop nailed, that nailed me. Actually nothing. Do you guys make, uh, can you make iced coffee or no? That would be Black great. Coffee? Black. Is Celia's color? <laughs> 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 
He has some black I'm not a coffee drinker anyway, so Dahl sounds horrible to me, but I've never heard of anyone getting black iced coffee. Really? It seems like they always put lots of cream and sweetener in it when they get uh, it iced. Yeah, I only still your color too. I may have had a couple of sliders out there, but I still don't have sugar. Shit's no good for you. Darwin raising on the button to 200 with 5 3 of diamonds. And back to his nemesis from 2009, Joe Catta. Seven total. Raises to 700. And Darv calls. Rematch. Yeah, classic duel. Flop is King Jack Jack. Two diamonds on the flop. Oh, the turn is a deuce of diamonds. That gives Moon the flush. Joe checks. And calls. And the river's another deuce. Flush. They will check it down, and in this case, it is Darvin Moon who wins the battle. I said, Darvin. A little frisky down there, a little 3 5 diamond play. Yeah. Or I wouldn't back down to Joe Cotty either. Three, three, five, five. Wow. It was if you like this man? video from season whatever from Poker Night in America, there are at least 41 other seasons, and we've got every episode here on our page at your disposal. Go to town, but make sure you hit like and subscribe.